we looked at the data that revealed to us that many startup programs unfortunately don't do well within the first three years. So you have more than 90% of startups fail uh, due to many reasons. And it's not usually due to lack of cash. Usually some of the good startup raise enough cash to sustain the first three years. But a lot of it, the reason for failure related to lack of experience from the founder, uh, maybe not the right team, maybe not the right product, not the right market fit. There are many reasons, right? One of the areas that we felt that we can add a lot of value to startups is our expertise, our know-how uh, in the market, the regional actually, not just the local market. Um, the experience that we have in different sectors, since we have more than 70 companies that work under our umbrella that we've either invested in or strategically partnered with. So when we looked at what do these startups need, we realized that they don't just need money. They need support, they need advice, they need people to open the right doors for them, to decision makers, to right doors to potential customers, the right doors to uh, partners uh, or strategic partners who could help them grow. And that's what we felt the Seed platform is the perfect platform to um, basically uh, partner with these startups, incubate them, and help them accelerate in their growth. And where they reach a certain point that they can go out there and operate on their own. So we're pretty much looking at spending between six to 12 months with these companies, with the right companies that we shortlist, and help them grow, not just you know by giving them money, but a lot more than that for the reasons that I mentioned earlier. of the accelerator programs that are out there focus primarily on developing the business plan uh, for the pre-launch. Uh, what we look for, we look for companies that are already out there that have some kind of uh, customer base but are struggling to pass the profitability, uh, I would say, threshold. So we're looking at companies that the reason for them not passing this threshold is not necessarily that they don't have a good product or a good team, but they're struggling to reach the right decision makers. Maybe they have experience in one area, but not other areas. So the founder, for example, could be a very good engineer, but he lacks the sales skills, he lacks the marketing skills, or he doesn't have the right people, uh, or he can't afford to hire the right professionals in these different uh, departments that are very, very important for the success of any company, not just necessarily a startup. And that's where we come in by providing uh, you know, people in marketing and sales, in operations and finance, uh, and even in leadership and in protocol and government relations, opening the right doors for them. All the areas that could help this entrepreneur succeed, other than the areas where he is already uh, excelling or uh, pioneering in, which is in that example, let's say, an engineer. It's a very good question. There are a lot of startups out there and it's very, very difficult to sort through a good potential company that could start you know, low and then grow very fast. So we look at obviously the team, that's the most important thing, uh, the product, whether it is needed in the market, whether it has a good product market fit, and we look at if they have at least a starting customer base. Um, there are many aspects. If you look at our website, there's a list of requirements uh, or criteria that we look for. But to answer your question very briefly, if we have the right team, we can always change the product, we can always change the marketing plan and sales plan, we can change the financials. But if you don't have the right team and the right founder, everything else becomes extremely difficult to change. We start with, we ask them to fill out an application form and then we filter the applications to see which this entrepreneur or this startup meets the criteria. Then they come in for a panel interview. Uh, sometimes we ask them to send us a video, a short video about the company and the founders and the team and the idea, uh, just to help us filter better if we're receiving a large number of applications. Um, and then after the panel interview, we pretty much sit and discuss the commercial terms of how we can cooperate together and what's in it for us and what's in it for them and then off we go and we start. Oh, 
Well, that's, there's a huge benefit, obviously. Um, if, if you are an entrepreneur, like I said, who is focused on a specific area or have experience, limited experience in a certain area, but not all the other elements of an entrepreneur, we come to complement, our team at Seed Group comes to complement all the other areas where maybe you're not very strong or you're lacking. So if you're weak in finance, our head of finance helps you with you know, what you need. If you need relationships, opening doors for you, then our protocol department takes care of that for you. Same thing if you're weak in sales, then we help you uh, improving your sales pitch. We help uh, improve your website, your marketing collateral. Um, there's a huge list of uh, uh, services and products that we offer to our partners that the entrepreneur doesn't need to think about uh, wondering how do you do this and how do you start this and how do you develop this and do I need to hire someone to do this job. You come on board, we see what are you lacking and we complete that for you because your success is our success as well. So it's for our advantage to help you succeed, not just by making sure you have the money. It's, that's the easy part, right? There's a lot of money out there in this region. But to make sure you have all the elements of success, eliminating all the risk that you could face out there in the real world that could harm your company or cause you to shut down due to mistakes in different areas. I felt that if we get involved more with the uh, companies, with the startups, and help them succeed and become active investors, uh, we increase the chance of their success. Therefore, whatever we are investing, whether it's in services or it's actual cash or it's our time or our resources or our infrastructure, we have a much better chance of getting a better return on our investment. That's why we're very selective but we're flexible, so we could look at small companies, medium-sized companies, even large companies who are doing well, but they just can't you know, pass a certain threshold uh, or revenue line where they are you know, maybe catering for smaller companies and now they want to go for large accounts and they need help uh, and a push to open the right doors for them or give them the right expertise or the right infrastructure for that. For us, it increases our success rate uh, and, and instead of betting on many horses, we bet on a few, and then we support these uh, to win the race, basically. Dubai is one of those cities that are very, very unique, not just in the region, but in the world. Um, it has a diverse culture uh, of not just Europeans or Americans, or it's East and West, right? So you have the Middle Eastern, and the Western world and the Asian world, a combination of all of these nationalities living in one place. When you have a society that combines more than 200 nationalities, uh, you have very unique uh, mixture of talent in a specific team. Uh, it makes it a bit challenging for uh, how to market to 200 nationalities, but it also, you get to test whether your, your product would work very well globally if you get to test it here in Dubai. The other reason why Dubai is very unique is because it, there's a lot of fund in this region and Dubai is a hub for the region. So if you want to do business in the region, if you're looking for funding, a lot of the private equities, a lot of the venture capitalists, a lot of the angel investors reside and live and come to Dubai quite often, obviously, because it attracts a lot of high net worth individuals. And the government has built a very strong infrastructure to support startups and SMEs. Uh, the government is very proactive when it comes to innovation. Uh, they become and they are actually one of the best customers for startups because it's an innovative government. So they look at anything unique, anything new, and they're happy to start it. Compared to other governments in other markets where may, they may not be the case, maybe there's a lot of bureaucracy, there's a lot of delay, which is not the case in Dubai. And one of the main reasons why Dubai is a great place because we are here. And we're based here, so we can extend all the support to our companies uh, that we partner with. We have about 12 offices around the world, uh, but the majority of our team that the startup would probably need are based in Dubai. Actually, the pandemic uh, is more of an opportunity in disguise, especially for uh, companies that are in e-commerce or tech companies and the majority of companies we invest in or we partner with are in the technology. 
A lot of people, as you know, uh, because of lockdowns in many other countries, uh, they were stuck at home, right? Trying to work from home. Some of them were laid off as well. Uh, and people were at home wondering, how long will I have to be at home? What can I do? So their creativity start kicking in. They start to come up with new ideas, new concept. What should I sell? What concept should I develop? And a lot of startups actually emerge as a result of the pandemic. And people start looking at which countries are open and which countries are on lockdown. Uh, countries that are on lockdown have decided to come to Dubai. And when they reached here, they, they saw how supportive the government is to startups, how angel investors are active, like ourselves, or, or private equities, or venture capitalists are active investors and not just passive. And they realized that Dubai is a very good platform or city for startups. So the pandemic attracted a lot of these young entrepreneurs to the city. And since we don't have a lockdown in Dubai, it makes it a very good destination for attracting minds and uh, investments and money as well, and makes it the perfect uh, city for testing a lot of the uh, new innovation in technology and uh, in other sectors as well. So we're not just focused on technology, but what I like about technology is that it touches different sectors. So you have the fintech, the health tech, the agri tech, and so on. Uh, and that's why we're flexible when it comes to the sector, but we try to focus as much as possible on, on technology. It's very simple. You simply go to our website, fill out the application form, and we'll take care of the rest from there. Well, you'll hear from us very soon because we're looking for people like you. So that's the best place to start, the website.